Today, we are going to open a termite mound to study its internal architecture. We are in Australia, about 150 kilometers north of Sydney, in the only state forest. We are about 400 meters above the sea. The climate is cooler than in the surrounding area. Here, there are many mounds of the termite Coptothermis lacteus. We approach one of the mounds, which is in the middle of an open area surrounded by a few dead trees. The external crust of the nest is made with sandy material and we can see its weathered appearance. There was some rain in the previous days, but uh, the external crust is still very hard and thick. We take turns with the pickaxe until we eventually we start to see the internal structure. This is a sort of intricate scaffold with tiny pillars that form a fine mesh. This is a typical structure that uh, uh, coptothermes termites often make. Now that we have opened the external crust, we can feel with our hand the heat that emanates from the nest. The crust is uh, just 19 degrees, but the internal parts of the nest are almost as hot as my hand. This is a sign of the metabolic activity of the colony. We don't see any termites. Probably they were scared by us, by our activity, and they retreated deeper underground in the foraging galleries that are likely to extend several meters from the nest. But the heat that we feel with our hand tells us that this is a large and active colony. We continue to excavate because we know that there are probably more layers and different structures to find. Now we get to see that in some parts of the nest, the pillars are replaced by compact chunks of friable material closely packed together as in a 3D puzzle. This material is believed to be a reserve of food for the colony. It may seem to, quite strange to see all these different structures inside the same nest. There is the external shell, hard and thick, with some galleries. Then there are the pillars, and now there is this other material. But now we can observe these structures from a close distance. We break a small fragment, and we see that the material was probably deposited in multiple layers. The layers converge concentrically around tubular structures. Perhaps then, the scaffold that, with pillars that we saw before served as a support for the deposition of these new layers of food storage material. We keep studying the nest and taking pictures for the rest of the afternoon. Before we leave, we try to repair the damage that we made to the mound by putting back fragments of the external crust. This is a big and healthy colony, and we are confident that they will finish to repair their mound and they will recover from our disturbance. For us, studying their nests is important because it gives us a window into the complexity of the natural world and how thousands of tiny insects manage together to build some of the most complex and beautiful structures made by animals of any species.